As students graduate from college this month, one expert estimates they're entering the job world with an average debt of more than $37,000. It is an incredible issue. Former Republican Party Chair Duff Sunheim says he would help currently indebted graduates by changing federal bankruptcy laws. In the short run, the number one thing we have to do is lift the ceiling on your ability to declare your student debt in bankruptcy. And in the long term, Sunheim says he would encourage colleges to bring down tuition by developing technologies that cut costs. So for example, why do we have people sit in a room with 500 people and watch some professor look at some white screen, right? What we should be doing is that lecture should be on a video. Tom Del Belcaro, another former Republican Party chair, would encourage more students to go not to college, but rather to trade schools. For decades, we have ignored that. Del Belcaro would also make it harder to get student loans, especially for students wanting to attend private universities with large endowments. We should never tax someone in the Central Valley barely getting by so that some kid can go to Stanford when Stanford's got the money already. That's an issue I've been very heavily involved in recently. Republican software executive Ron Unn says he's leading a campaign to try to force Harvard University to cut its tuition to zero. If Harvard abolishes tuition, all of these other wealthy universities will follow. Yale, Princeton, Stanford, they can afford to abolish tuition. Unn says if private colleges cut tuition, public ones, like the UC and Cal State systems, will have to do the same. Mainly, he says, by cutting administrators. Maybe we have to cut their salaries, maybe we have to cut their numbers. Maybe we have to do whatever it takes on the side of administrative bloat to allow us to cut college tuition at these California schools. One of the issues with the student loans that we, that we actually accomplished in the Congress several years ago was to bring down the interest rate on student loans. So Democratic Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez says she would keep interest rates low, increase the amount of Pell Grants the federal government hands out. It's an outright scholarship and expand the number of community colleges offering four-year degrees. Not to conflict with something like a Cal State Fullerton or a University of California Irvine, but it's just less expensive and, and a lot of our students need to be able to do to do that. We've got to address it in a way that I have done, um, it, which already. Democratic Attorney General Kamala Harris says she would do more to crack down on for-profit schools that engage in predatory lending. And I think we should look and listen to what the president has suggested um, in terms of making community colleges free. Harris says she's not concerned about a bursting bubble of student loan debt. She says education loans should be more accessible, not less, for students. If they have shown that they have the qualifications and they've put in the time and the effort to get to that point, then we should make it easy for them to do that. For Commitment 2006, I'm David Beenick, KCRE 3 News.